Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to Camlet once again. This is episode 4 and today we are working on the landscape and the stuff around the castle and the village of Camlet which we have been working on. It's so much fun playing around here and I'm having a blast just decorating every single block here. There's no stone unturned or no block unturned, I suppose, uh, in this place and I'm really enjoying it. Sadly, I was not able to finish everything in today's episode, so I think we gotta do another episode after this one to uh, really finish off this place, but we'll see. I'm gonna show you what I mean later. If you enjoyed this episode here and if you enjoyed the series and the content that I create, make sure to hit that like button. It is the best way of showing support to what I do. I also want to remind you guys that together with Skynode, uh, there's a link down below if you want to have your own server there, but we have a Patreon server set up if you want to play with me and some other patrons uh, Make sure uh, you check out uh, the links down below So basically what we're doing today is building farms around here You can see we have this very cool circular shape around the main castle because the castle is kind of circular so basically what I did is I used world edit to create a big hollow cylinder uh, around the entire area and then just made that into the path and then filled with these cake sections of farms uh, in the middle but around that I'm gonna go for more organic shape which you will see now and I think that's kind of a cool way of of making it feel man-made but also adapted to nature in a way kind of uh, a nice transition from the wild into the nice circular surroundings of the castle here we're doing a lot of wheat fields some wine yards olive groves and of course we're doing some rotational fields uh, if you don't know what that is basically uh, I think they still do it now but at least in medieval times uh, what you did you had a field you grew a crop there next year you grew something else and then next year you grew something else again and then uh, to uh, to give the land a little bit of rest you didn't grow anything for an entire year after that and then uh, the soil got new nutrition and was ready for another round of crops the year after that again uh, you should look that up it's kind of cool and just adding those kind of stuff into the area really makes it come alive in my opinion it makes it look like the farms are actually being used uh, what you can see as well, I'm using a lot of world edit to do these farms uh, and without that I was would not have been able to do all of these farms for one episode. Basically what we're doing, we're using wool just to shape up the, the ground and the li lines of crops or whatever we want to do and then just replacing them with a replace command which is epic. But guys, let me finish off this place and I'm going to show you in detail everything we have done. It's going to be epic. As usual, we're gonna start with an aerial view of the place and here we can see all the different fields just spreading around and I've gotta say, fields, they make a big difference. Uh, this place looked pretty good before we start adding all the landscaping and fields and stuff but my oh my, <laughs> I like this place. There's a few things I wanna point out but before we do that, let's open up the journey map here so you can see the overall view here. You can see the very circular shape around the castle and I think that's very cool. It fits and it makes it stand out a little bit, especially if you zoom out, you can kind of see that. But then the farms around that has more organic shapes and I, I think that looks awesome. Uh, I think it fits for what we're doing here. Then you can see the paths leading out in different ways. I haven't continued those and then one down here and then you can see the temple and all that stuff. Uh, but I want to show you also where this is situated compared to Krasper, which is right over here. So this is Krasper, the biggest city so far that we've been working on, uh, which still isn't finished. And then we have Camlet over here. Right north of Camlet, we have Rosewill, and that is actually very close, so we might be able to connect them, uh, which would be super cool. I really want to try to connect stuff up, because uh, I've been uh, doing a lot of projects which is very far away. And then we have, of course, the almighty Asa over here, uh, which is uh, not too far away either from what we're doing over here. But enough of mappage stuff. I know a lot of people ask for maps. That's why I'm doing that occasionally, just so people can keep updated on the entire area here. So I think we're going to start maybe here. Uh, I added this little bridge, uh, as you saw in the time lapse. It's a wooden one. Oh, well, let's... There we go. <laughs> uh, a little bridge leading over to the path here. And this is where you spawn. If you come here, welcome to Camlet, a build by Vigoman. 
and you start over here and you can just follow the path and then get straight to this and I gotta say the atmosphere here is really on point I think and then we have these paths I've been taking the time to layer every single bit here uh, we have a little uh, shed for I guess this would be where you tied up your horse if you're just passing by traveling uh, you could just tie it up here before entering the town uh, so that's kind of neat uh, walk around here we can see I've added a lot of trees and vegetation around the place and really tying everything together kind of nicely got some big wheat fields look at that uh, you can see there are small stones back there as well and uh, we're going to talk about those in just a little bit they have a little bit of a significant meaning uh, when it comes to the lore of this place um, and then we have a lot of these big uh, cypress trees which is really fitting for a theme and we have this little vineyard here where we have a little cart with some grapes in and just some nice lines of grape vines growing here and uh, so that's kind of neat i like that and then again it just wraps around here you can see all the layering i've been doing that takes a lot of time but man does it look good and just uh, follows the path around here uh, what you can see with the farms is that i've done like sections so we have this like diagonal line going here uh, we have other we, like it's all kind of lines and first of all that looks awesome from the map uh, Bring that up again. It looks so cool from the map when you can see the different angles uh, Around this place. So those small like field patches of field lines of uh, Crops and stuff just really makes it come alive in my opinion We have the same with the olives and the grapes and stuff like that uh, then we have a little uh, wheat field here being uh, harvested and I think that's kind of cool with this uh, piles of hay and uh, just again makes it feel alive adds a little bit of story to the place uh, and uh, these are one of the rotational fields I talked about this is currently not being used I tried to have about one third or one fourth of the fields being rotational fields that are not being used right now so um, that's kind of neat like that and then we have just like smaller patches again with these cool lines and yeah, lavender and, and all kind of stuff and I think all of that together really makes this place pop But now I want to talk about these things in the middle of the build here next to the castle So if you haven't read the lore on Camlet, I recommend you doing that It's quite fascinating, uh, but basically in, uh, in very short terms uh, There was a lord from Crasburg who came here uh, he, he kind of fled the city uh, not because of war or anything, he just kind of had to move out, he wanted to move out. And he found this nice monument, uh, or monolith, uh, circular monolith, which became a nice foundation for the walls of Camlet. Uh, so basically, there was this big rocks here as well, uh, on uh, where the walls are. So he just used those to kind of reinforce the walls and built on top of those, because they were probably like... 10 ton heavy uh, stones he could just kind of build on uh, but these are kind of here reminders of the monolith which probably like I'm kind of imagining Stonehenge or something uh, so it was kind of expanding out a little bit so there's a secondary ring going around here you can see we have like this massive rocks pile on top of each other and they're kind of falling apart a little bit and yeah it, it just adds a little bit of lore to the place i think that's very fun to play around with and definitely makes people come in here kind of question imagine like you're walking the path here and you're just seeing these things like what is that that's cool that must have a meaning and it kind of just kind of uh, grabs your attention in a way uh, so yeah, that's really cool. Recommend you coming on the server here and checking it out for yourself, guys. It is uh, it's really fun just walking around the place. Uh, like just doing that, I feel so immersed. Like look at the view from here. Oh man, I, I'm digging that. And uh, then we have a little windmill I built. Uh, it's one of those that can rotate, so that's kind of cool. It's built on this uh, stone foundation and. The entire thing can rotate depending on where the wind is coming from. Right now the wind is coming from the south. Uh, we can see that from the smoke of the chimneys. So it's facing south. And then uh, on the back here we have a little ladder. This would be just put up to get up here. Because it, when it rotates uh, you kind of have to move the ladder. And then there's a little crane to, to move the wheat up. And then in here we just have a little bit of a grindstone thing. For grinding the wheat into the flour. 
and yeah, <laughs> I think that's kind of neat, uh, and I really like that. I've added a few of these like animal enclosures as well. I imagine this being cows or something. Very cool. And then we have another little patch right over here, uh, which is for sheep. And here I actually built the sheep in uh, I'll be using the conquest blocks. So that's kind of cool, I think. I, I don't know. I like that. Let me know down below, guys. Uh, but what I talked about, I need to do more stuff in future episodes, is this bit right here. So um, I want to do a farm, like a little farmhouse or a few farmhouses maybe here imagining doing these two and then maybe a third house uh, to to kind of indicate the farmers that are harvesting these fields because the, the people living in the village here they have their own professions we have like a blacksmith and inn uh, baker carpenter and stuff so they already have like professions so i think it would be cool if we did some uh, farmers living around here just um yeah, work in the fields and it will also allow me to do some more buildings because I love the style we're doing here. But guys, I think that is all I have for you today. Uh, it's a lot. It's been too, too many hours placing crops and dirt and bushes. But man, I, I'm digging it. Oh, look at the view from here. Isn't this co cool? Cool, cool, yeah. Guys, leave a like down below if you enjoyed this. I really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. So make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.